What's up, BTY Nation? Coach Bobby back here talking about fear, right? Fear of failure, fear of losing, fear of disappointment, fear of being less than, right? So my children, my son and my daughter are, are, are an embodiment of, of no fear, of, of not fearing losing, of not fearing failure, right? They embody that, right? At an age where, where most kids are beginning to be afraid of failure, right? And we all face it. And I'm telling you now, guys, uh, a BTY Nation, that you cannot be the best version of you with this fear inside of you of failure, right? With this fear inside of you of looking bad, of looking dumb, of looking weird, of falling short, right? We have to fight through that and be unafraid and be courageous about battling and fighting for what we want to be in life okay so my son he'll play a sport he'll do a sport without any fear of looking bad any fear whatsoever he tried baseball for the first time and did him well but wasn't afraid to try it even after uh, he was playing with kids who have been playing for 10 you know five six seven eight ten years Right, my daughter tried for the dance team, uh, even though she had no ballet or tap experience. Right, unafraid. Right, courageous. Right, and most of us, as we get older, lose that. Most of us, at, at my kids' age, have already lost that. This, this, this undeniable courage about doing what we want to do. Right, and we can't live that way anymore if we want to go through life successfully and, and look back upon our life with pride that we came through the journey, came up the mountain and reached our full potential. We can't do that with fear. I know in part, in large part, because that's what I had. That's what I have. That's what you have. We all have it. And, and for the most part, in many cases, it's stopping us from achieving what we know we can be of what we know we can do, right? I had it in football to some degree. I didn't want to uh, make a mistake. I had it in, in finance to some degree. I didn't want to look dumb or be revealed as somebody who wasn't smart. And, and now I'm trying to build this new brand of a coach who wants to give back to you and motivate you and inspire you and it's scary. Right? What if I, I don't speak well enough? What if um, I'm not uh, good looking enough? What if somebody finds out that I don't have as much of a background in kinesiology as somebody else does? What if somebody finds out that I have a body fat that isn't the same as a bodybuilder or a physique competitor? What if somebody finds out that there are times when I lose my cool in class? What if somebody finds out that I'm not all that anymore? That's a fear. Right? And so what I'm doing now is saying, you know what? I got to be me. I got to go for what I want in life regardless of how scary it is. You have to go for what you want in life regardless of how scary it is. You might fail once. You might fail twice. But if you keep at it, I promise you, you won't fail. Right? But you got to be unafraid. You got to be courageous. You got to have, have, have this courage to fight through uh, the doubters. Right? And those who you think are laughing at you. And those who might discourage you. You have to fight through that and fight through the inner talk the self negative talk that's telling you you didn't do it before you can, why can't you do it this time and say you know what I, I can do it because I'm going to fight through it I can do it because I'm going to take one more step today I can do it by living BTY so stop being afraid what are you afraid of right if you fail once if you fail twice if you fail three times you won't fail forever I promise you, you won't fail forever. So we have to get over it ourselves and we have to stop being worried about what the world thinks of us and worried about, about making a mistake and worried about, about failing on this diet this time or about, about not passing the test this time or about not getting through in this discussion this time. We have to stop worrying about failing guys, about losing and go back to how my kids approach things. If I fail once, that's just once, I'll try again if I fail once it's not an indictment of who I am as a person as a boy as a girl as a man as a woman that doesn't define me right that does what defines you is the fight what defines you is the pursuit of the best version of you we could all just sit here and be relaxed and be content where we, that's safe where we are but inside of you you want to be great 
Inside of you, you want to be better. Inside of you, you want to live BTY, but you can't do it if you're afraid.